Hello to all students. Today we are going to discuss swim bladder. As you know that there are two types of fishes which are found in water. Number one, chondrichthys. These are known as cartilaginous fishes. Usually they do not have swim bladder in their body and they use fin for locomotion and for, and for buoyancy in the water. But the other group of fish is known as osteichthys. Osteichthys are usually bony fishes. Bony fishes, the major characteristics of bony fishes is that they have swim bladder for buoyancy in water. They usually have reduced their, uh, to save their energy and they use less power of fins and they use uh, swim bladder instead of uh, fins for buoyancy and for movement for sinking and floating in the water. So first of all, we want to know that what is buoyancy. Buoyancy is an ability of a body to sink or float in water. So there are different types of adaptations which bony fishes have adopted to uh, for buoyancy in water. So what are those adaptations? Let's look at them one by one. So there are four adaptations which a fish adopt to stay in water. Number one, low density compounds in tissue. Fish tends to store maximum amount of low density liquids or compounds in their body and especially in their livers are saturated with buoyant oils. As you know that the fish liver oil is very famous. We extract the oil from the fish liver and which contain a huge amount of vitamin D and it is used in uh, medicine industry for the treatment of deficiency of vitamin D. So the fish liver contain a very very low dense buoyant oils which help them uh, to uh, sink or float in the water, especially floating. Number two, the second adaptation is fins. Certain fishes they have modified fins to stay in water, either floating or sinking. If you look at the caudal fin, tail fin of a shark, it has two lobes, the upper lobe and the lower lobe. The upper lobe is larger while the lower lobe is little bit shorter. The so upper lobe helps the fish uh, to navigate in water and to sink and float in water easily. While other fishes also have one more adaptation which is known as reduction of heavy tissue. Most of the fishes they have reduced their uh, heavy bony skeleton into lightweight bones as you can compare fish bones with the bones of other animals like mammals and birds. Birds usually also have lighter bones but mammals have heavy and dense bones. So as you can see the fish contain very very small bones and very thin bones less like spines. So this helps fish to reduce their weight and reduce their density so that they can float easily in the water. The fourth and the last adaptation is swim bladder which is we are going to discuss today. What is swim bladder? Swim bladder is a sac like structure which is present in the abdominal cavity of fish. Swim bladder is also known as pneumatic sac. If you look at the structure of a fish, this is the dorsal side of the fish, this is the ventral side of the fish, anterior and posterior side. On the ventral side of the body, there is a cavity which is known as abdominal cavity. There are visceral masses like stomach, liver, heart and etc. And just dorsal to the visceral mass, there is a sac like structure which is known as pneumatic sac or swim bladder. It is made up of very thin uh, layer of fatty material. It, con it contains two compartments which can be filled up with gases. Usually in the uh, primitive mode of fishes, primitive fishes, uh, fish is used to fill the uh, swim bladder by gulping the air, by putting their mouth outside the water. They swim with the help of their fins, come out the surface of water, gulp air into the uh, mouth, then into the digestive system. Their swim bladder used to connect with their gut or digestive system and air travels from their mouth into the gut and into the swim bladder. So in the same mechanism, they can take out the air, take out the gases from the swim bladder out of the uh, mouth into the atmosphere. But later on, 
the fish change the strategy they change it into a different mechanism to fill the gas in the swim bladder now if we look at the structure detail structure of this swim bladder i have taken out this swim bladder right here in this diagram as you can see it this is a swim bladder this swim bladder is supplied with rich capillaries of blood vessels so this is a blood vessel which is dorsal aorta which is uh, coming out from the heart and going blood towards backside and this is a vein which contains also blood these blood vessels veins and artery they a blood vessel reaches towards the swim bladder these blood vessel divide and subdivide in and form a network which is known as reti marable reti marable is a network of capillaries which is attached to the surface of the swim bladder and now this structure uh, where capillaries attach with the swim bladder is known as gas gland because this organ especially involved in the production of gases or filling of the gases in the swim bladder so that is why we call it gas gland and this whole network is known as reti marable it is produced by the uh, combination of different types of capillaries when a fish needs to float in the water uh, she the blood from the uh, sorry the gases from the especially the oxygen gas from the blood diffuses into the swim bladder and the swim bladder fills up with the gases especially the oxygen and nitrogen in this way the density of the fish reduces and fish floats in the water and when fish wants to sink in the water uh, it removes the gases from this swim bladder and to remove the gases from this swim bladder there is a structure just behind the swim bladder which is known as ovale uh, ovale absorb the gases and send these gases into the blood supply or blood vessels in this way the swim bladder becomes empty and the density of the fish increases and fish uh, sinks in the water so the mechanism which is used by the fish for the transport of gases is known as counter current uh, multiplier or counter current exchange counter current exchange works uh, just like that there is a more concentration of gases in the blood and there is less concentration in the swim bladder so gases diffuse from blood into the gas chamber uh, swim bladder in the same way from here the gases concentration of gases in the blood is less than the gases present in the swim bladder in ovale uh, gases move from swim bladder into the blood so this mechanism is known as counter current exchange so i have summarized this uh, whole system in different steps first of all i have written blood blood contain different gases especially oxygen great amount of oxygen present in the blood and also nitrogen the gases diffuse these gases are known as mixture of usually nitrogen and oxygen it enters into the swim bladder with the help of a structure known as reti marable which is a network of capillaries which is also known as gas gland and from there uh, gases go into from swim bladder go back into ovale and from ovale these gases are also again transported into the blood and this circulation is completed so in this way swim bladder uh, which is also known as pneumatic saps helps the fish in the buoyancy and uh, to float or sink in the water without expenditure of so much energy so i hope you have uh, understood this topic today so we will see you in the next lecture uh, for then bye